Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna see the patch notes, they just dropped them and it's real. Tier 4 Jean Grey is gaming into the game, we already knew that from the sneak peek but also we're having the confirmation here and we're getting a bunch of new characters and uniforms, I mean one new character and couple of uniforms. Uh, as it seems, with with uh, a small talk, you know, I could say it seems like the biggest skip update at the moment. At least for the guys that don't want to spend on premium characters or don't have tier 2 mega tickets for Polaris. You know, we're gonna get them for free, we're gonna get here for free. Jean Grey feels like it's gonna be super expensive and we took nothing uh, in the patch notes about her cost or if... It is gonna add something like tier 4 materials in the game, so feels like it's gonna be super hard for everyone. Cyclops, Beast and uh, Angel seems like they took an upgrade, but ah. So yeah, at the moment with, uh, with uh, 3 or 4 words, big skip, I would say, Wood World, 2 words. Yeah, per of course, I'm gonna buy some uniforms, I'm gonna try to tier 4 Jin Grey, I guess. I'm not sure yet, I'm just gonna go through uh, all the patch notes and guys, because a lot of people, uh, a lot of people, some people basically in my discord uh, asked me to do and drop a live stream after the daily reset tomorrow as I used to do on every update but uh, you know, because some people didn't like the live streams and we had some uh, um, yeah, I'm having, I'm still having my name day and people still calling me. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you right after. And yes, because people was uh, asking me to do a live stream, I want to ask you now here in this video and I want you to drop a comment on like, uh, I want to see a live stream of seeing the new parts and the new characters, new uniforms from you or no, I prefer you drop a video as soon as possible. Um, uh, you know, I, I really want your opinion and perhaps I'm gonna drop a community post also because most of the people are skipping the videos with parts notes, so yeah. If there's not a lot of comments, couple the first of hours of the video, I'm gonna drop a community post also, so yeah. Before we're going through that, I want you to drop the comment I told you. I want you to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, smash the like button, and of course, if you want to join as Brillianova did lately and Zemeli, Zemeli did a couple of days before, uh, Zamiel basically. I'm not sure if I'm butchering his name, sorry, my new members here, shout out to them. And yes, join also after smashing the like button and subscribing helps me to grow my channel to do more stuff and try to focus more not having to work and do stuff, you know, uh, outside YouTube and MFF and uh, yeah, gaming. So yeah, let's go through uh, all the parts notes one by one um, line, let's see the secrets and what we're missing. And yes, there is the world boss legend Dark Phoenix we already screamed about in this uh, video we took a couple of hours before. And world boss conqueror effects gonna get uh, increased and all future for some store items. Mm, yeah. I'm not sure what that means. I haven't seen something about store items yet, but in case all future for store to some store items. What that means? And the 2022 event token achieve reward. Yeah, that's something they are explaining. But that thing about Purkase all future for some store items, I'm not sure what that means. So yeah, let's go to the characters. Polaris seems to be the new combined version of Magneto and Mystique. And that's super rare. It's a mutant that gives you uh, for all allies 45% uh, all attack let's see my face I feel like my face is better here I used to have it there not to cover the path notes but yeah you can see them still okay so it's 
45 mutant allies all attack as leadership and a possibility that gives to all mutant allies 45% supervillain damage and uh, decreased damage from supervillain. So yeah, this is gonna be really helpful for World Boss Legend 100% if you wanna focus on completing stages like World Boss Legend stage 50 of Null and the ones that you need to use mutants or else See, it's still one really good leadership. I mean, 90% combined feels like um, a cheap version of uh, Nicolas Fury, but for mutants, not for heroes. And that's really nice. I mean, we don't have something like that for Namor, I think. Yeah, Wave is not giving to Namor because she gives to heroes only, but this one is giving to mutants, so... It's gonna be the best buff for Namor users and Storm users, of course, for ABL, of course. It's really nice, really nice. Uh, the rest of the buffs feels cool, I mean, but I don't feel like she's gonna have any place on meta if you consider that she is getting a level 70 and she has to compare herself with level 80 guys like Namor and Storm and the rest of the powerhouses there is in the game for PvP. I mean, there's no iframe ignorability. Uh, there is a heal there and invisibility for five sec, for four sec in the fifth skill, but still. Uh, there is accumulation, okay. There is a lot of meta buff, uh, meta skills, like uh, having snare, burn, and uh, paralysis, and accumulation. Everything feels cool, but still, she's gonna be short against Storm, probably. So, let's see the other things we took, and that's the uniform for our girl, Jean Grey. And she feels bad, bro. <laughs> she feels villain, really? Her eyes? I mean, it's this eyes. No, this eyes. I can't do that. I, I, I really wonder how people is doing it. Yeah. So, she's gonna have passively guard break immunity. The egg is here for her. I mean, it's the new meta for eggs. Yeah, refinement is gonna be back to the meta as it seems. Brilliant or mighty refinement need the character with guard break immunity and they just released one. So the value of the egg is going up as it seems. Decrease additional damage taken by 60%. That's a lot. That's a lot, bro. Yeah, that's a lot period. And guard break immunity and fire damage. Okay, this is cool. Here, ultimate skills uh, used to do pretty much the same, I think. Ah, uh, I can't really remember, but that's a lot of stuff. I mean, she's getting 100% penetration, but it's with a tier 3, of course. 100 chance to penetrate with fire immunity. If you have fire immunity, she still penetrate low. LOL, basically, yeah, and a buff, okay, feels like the old one, but with, on steroids, here tier 3, here passive abilities, it's pretty much the same, increase all resistances, yeah, and decrease damage taken, it was a fun fact when the blast hero uniform released, because she was a blast type, and she had an advantage against uh, the combat types, the combat types, couldn't do any damage because of this uh, decreased damage here and the resistances. Namors was doing one damage every single time uh, because she has resistance for everything, decreased damage and the passive from, uh, you know, uh, the scissors, rock, paper thing with the combat and how it's called. Uh, I can't, resistances? No, it's not that. Okay, I'm confused, sorry. So, enhancement, level 6, yeah, here enhancement is more, uh, you know, it's against combo types, you are not getting any damage, so yeah, she's gonna be super tanky, 100%, and this confirms that, and this confirms that, and this confirms that, the decrease spears, so see, they are building a tank, uh, which has ignore iframe, uh, ignore targeting on her second skill, and on her first skill, got the meta ability Snare and Burn for ABL, Paralysis there, and Silence, or her tier 3 skill, 
She got snare, silence, and yes, she got accumulation on the damage taken and healing the accumulation like she used to do. She used to have on her third skill, that's a, a, a skill that it was already in the game, but this is on steroids, even bigger numbers. And still, there is burn, silence, paralysis on her fourth skill. Okay, the only thing that she's missing is Fracture for ABX and ABL and Sock. Basically, yeah. It's a Sock that uh, there is two abilities missing, but uh, yeah. It's four out of six for ABL and ABX. But yeah, she stinks PvP. She stinks so badly PvP. And most people gonna make her a tank to PvP you all and make your life miserable in timeline battle. And her tier 4 ability, just to not swap character at the moment, it's reflect when you're gonna press the tier 4, she's gonna reflect like Emma and even worse. And she's gonna reflect 45% of max attack, so if you have a really good account, your Jin gonna have like a 90 to 80 Mm, 80,000 80,000 energy attack so this thing gonna only 80,000 reflect 100% if your character got 200 so if you do like uh, 3 to 4 hits into here uh, you could get killed immediately it's gonna be I mean even my Hulk, my Hulk got 250,000 HP on PvP while I'm playing I think so this thing could, if I do three skills, I'm gonna, three hits of one skill could immediately kill me. So yeah, feels really busted if she able to get the tier four. So you need to kill her fast, 100% twice, because she revives with 100% uh, HP. And in the same time, she got accumulation on damage do, uh, deal. So yeah, you can do casually PvE with this tier four also. And that's a better way to do a tier 4, both usable in PV and PvP, not like Hulk. Hulks, it's bugged and it's bad. They should swap Hulks, something like that, you know? Having an ability and having another ability, one for PV, one for PvP. Or else it's getting confused the game and you're getting the results we're having right now with Hulk. So yeah, let's go further and the other characters, it's like Cyclops getting even better supporting buff and leadership buff and that's all. I feel like his tier 3, it's exactly the same, a bit bigger numbers, uh, his uniform passives is uh, okay, nothing special. His leadership uh, gets bumped for 10% from 35 to 45 and his passive energy attack it's 40 from 30 so in total he's adding you 25 percent all attack and energy attack in the same time it's gonna be a boost on uh, abx for some players and will boost legend for some others of course but still he feels like a big support slash leadership and nothing else uh, the rest of the skills feels like uh, Alliance Conquest and a bit of a tweak of uh, PvE and nothing special as it seems. He got Fracture, of course, Shock, Paralysis, he got Snare, he got Paralysis again and Recovery of HP, but uh, Silence? Oh no, Burn, Snare, yeah. He got a lot of meta abilities for ABX and ABL, but there is no way he gonna be good for DPS. We have to test him, of course we have to test him and I feel like, you know, if you want to get 20% in your ABX score, okay, go for it, but that's all, he's not gonna provide anything else and his face looks bad, this is bad rework, uh, as it seems at least. Um, from the other side, Beast uh, took even worse uh, rework, he is a big skip also. At the moment, I feel like if you already have Jean Grey, okay, go get the latest uniform. There's no wrong on that, but she's super expensive and you have to consider that. She's an absolute keeper. Uh, Jean gonna smash the meta 100%. Cyclops gonna add a bit, okay? Kind of skip, kind of not skip. Uh, but Beast here, bro, I mean, 
yeah, he gonna get a passive ability for roll of ice, 40% HP. Is anyone need that? I mean, is people missing, you know, is people looking for another America Chavez in their account? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anyone asked for it. 50% physical attack when in the same time they we have Titania with 60 and all these leadership buffing physical attack characters has no point. 10% critical damage is for another year, 2016 or 2017. This could be cool. They removed the guaranteed critical rate and that's really sad because it was the only reason for you to use him with multiple characters that missing the garden critical rate and you want to bump their raid output. When they introduce a raid in the game that needs you to crit, they remove the garden crit from a character and give him critical damage where it's a stat that everyone got capped or else you're doing small numbers and everyone likes big numbers. Why they're doing that? Okay, so the rest of the things that he's getting, it's only from himself. Doesn't seem like he gonna smash the meta for any reason. There's no ignore iframe, uh, I mean, ignore targeting abilities or something like that. Uh, perhaps he's gonna good, perhaps not for DPSing Shadowland or Alliance Conquest. I don't feel like he's gonna replace anyone when you're thinking that we have so good combat types. I mean, we took Mubaku, we took Mubaku as a tier two, who is doing more than this dude. Mubaku gives you more than uh, than Beast, and Mubaku is tier two, and Beast gonna be an awakened character. And in the same time, you need to spend for a uniform. I mean, yeah, there is no comparison here. There is no way he gonna pass through the level eighty and tier four, of course. So yeah. Don't buy this. <laughs> At the moment, feels really bad. And the other thing is these chimichangas here. Uh, they're calling him Beast, but he's Angel. Let's see if they have Angel here. No, it's two times Beast for Net Marble. We know this guy who looks like a girl for some reason. I feel like his face is so beautiful that you could say he is a girl. And. Uh, uniform effects. Okay, you you want to have dodge rate thirty percent and recovery rate fifty percent in your other characters? What you don't? No, no. Yeah, me either. I mean, me neither. Basically, who wants that? Why? What are you drinking, guys? Why should you? Why you did that? It's really weird. I mean. Is there any meta coming into PvP that recovery gonna take place instead of uh, something else? I mean, if he had the passive ability uh, that gives you something like decreased damage, if it was like 30% decreased damage, that could be cool. That could be a cool support, but this is feels really bad and I'm wondering for him. Uh, but yeah, he's getting more self buffs and his skills perhaps gonna be cool. The good part that they didn't swap is his leadership. They don't have it here, but his leadership removes all debuffs. So you could use him as a leadership for PvP as you were doing in Alliance Conquest. And you're gonna get some extra buffs who no one is asked for. And I'm not sure if this is gonna have any like 0.001% impact in our gameplay. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case. Polar is here against, uh, I mean, except uh, being a good support, feels like she's gonna do this tier three here. And uh, this tier three looks green, as you see. Uh, looks like Magneto's tier three, but in green vibe. Uh, but yeah, it's basically, it's like Morgan Le Fay tier three, and Magneto tier 3 combined, uh, something like this. Yeah, we have to wait and see for that. I'm not sure. She's not getting anything uh, game, breaking, game breaking on that, but yeah, we have to see that. And let's go uh, through the potential Awaken skills. They are lame as always, copy-paste. There's nothing special like... Uh, 
pressing this and you're gonna transform into Transformers or a Power Ranger. I'm not sure what I'm expecting, but something. I mean, this is the... It, perhaps it's the same for all Awakened characters I've seen last uh, two years. Perhaps there is some small letters different, okay? The only characters that getting any value is the ones that has um, accumulation on their Awakened skills. The rest are so lame. I mean, yes, you're getting a buff, but that's all. You're not getting a damage or something. Most of the times you're canceling this skill because it's lame to wait to see all this animation. Yes, I go. I mean, yeah, I don't want to be bad. Yeah, look at the, all this work they did for it. Uh, this op is doing that and they're starting... Yeah, meanwhile, the boss has moved, the boss... Uh, has taken no damage, yeah, that's why you want to cancel most of the waking skills and do your regular rotation while you're doing them. There is only specific characters that you have value using their tier, their waking skills, and one of them was Valkyr that you had to delay cancel, and they, they fix it, so yeah. No one is seeing the awakened skills most of the times, so yeah. New boss and conqueror level, they increase the conqueror level uh, from the boss from 100 to 200 and I have myself most of them 100 also the world boss ultimate the world boss legend I'm close to 100 for now uh, but yes dark phoenix has been added yeah 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 as you can see it's the difficulty 5 so it's supposed to be even harder agents can challenge dark phoenix from difficult after clearing these three things it's gonna be super expensive, like 7,000 crystals probably. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, the last time I thought I'm gonna be able, but it was 7,000. I was like, no, reject, reject. Yeah, clear Dark Phoenix acquires various words. Yeah, uh, various means exactly the same copy paste as previously. And yes, they're, they're explaining here how you're gonna get the same thing, but you're gonna believe that you're getting more because the the rank the boss is difficulty five and you're getting like uh 23 look at this they have a screenshot here 23 carbonadium from gene oh my god that's insane oh uh, oh no it's not it's the same rewards we're getting for now mephisto ultron and gore lately i'm taking from 19 to 23 whatever boss i'm playing i'm not sure about you guys if you have record or count the carbonadium and you're getting more in one world boss against the other let me know but it's lame it's lame no one's getting more but yeah okay conquer efforts has been added to ultimate thanos and and that's really weird and i like it because as it seems you're gonna have to uh increase the conquer level on all your world boss legend uh, I have them increased. I'm gonna show you how much increased I have them in my game. Uh, but as it seems, as you're leveling your conquer level on one gold boss legend, you're gonna get a buff on the others too. Here says only Gore and after uh, Dark Phoenix. So if you have like 100%, if you have 100 conquer level on Null, you're gonna get all this accumulated reward for other world boss legend. That's great. That's gonna make my grind for World Boss Legend Stage 100 even easier. I am in most of the World Boss uh, Legend 69, 70, or something like that. So I'm gonna be glad having that. Uh, but yes, I mean, uh, we have to wait and see if we're gonna get the Conqueror level we already had. It's cool for me. If we're gonna have to grind from the start. And we are everyone in the same level, even if you were skipping World Boss Legend uh, high levels or not. This is gonna be unfair, bro. But yeah, I'm gonna take it and grind again. Because you know what? I was grinding stage uh, 40 and above for all World Boss, World Boss Legend except Gore. Last uh, like two or three months to increase my Concord level because I knew this thing gonna count somehow. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, as I knew it, that this is the, gonna be World Boss Legend. You saw the, uh, the thing I did in the, the vote, I think, in the community post two or three days before. I said, do you believe World Boss Legend is gonna be Jin? Did you see that anywhere else? 
Did you? Uh, yeah, and let's see here. We're getting a reward. If you didn't miss any token, you're gonna get Luna Snow as an icon for your account, and that's really nice. And it feels like we're gonna get something uh, into the future, like a tier 3 middle month or something like this, tier 4 basically. The rest is the artifacts, as you can see here, and feels like a uh, Makari artifact is for Polaris, but as you are not gonna use here for ABX or something like that, uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna take advantage of it. Jin takes Gore artifact, which is really nice and stable. Uh, Cyclops feels like it's similar with Iron Man's artifact and Namor or something like that really bad because he's only support uh okay okay beast getting the thing that my uh how it's called bro it's the fat guy uh, juggernaut the yeah juggernaut thing it's a pvp thing recovers by 70 percent your hp and it's gilgamesh also i think yeah angel gonna get uh the thing that spider-man got and uh, black widow you know extreme dodge or something like that uh but yes doesn't really matter and bishop gets black bolts artifact it's exactly the same i think uh but yes perhaps the numbers it's a bit different but it gives you exactly the same things so yeah i don't feel like bishop gonna be anywhere into the meta the future pass feels cool because you're getting uh, at the last level mega uniform and free Polaris. So yeah, we're gonna get free Polaris. If you have a tier 2 mega ticket for here, you're gonna be cool. If you wanna spend on that, uh, doesn't really worth it. Only the mega uniform upgrade ticket, nothing else. The icons feel cool if you're gonna get them. I'm not, so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, I'm gonna get Luna probably. I'm not sure if I missed something. Check out the new uniforms. Yeah, I mean, this is still the, the, the most disgusting thing you could see in the game. Collection complete reward. Oh, you spent to buy five uniforms and get them to Mythic and spend all these materials. Okay, get something idiotly uh, slow brain or. I mean, who is giving you Macaron Sarge when everyone have them capped? as a reward for getting all these uniforms i mean to get all these uniforms you need to spend like a lot you need to spend a lot to buy them through crystals and spend tickets and stuff to have them mythic it's really like they're making fun of you and this button okay okay we had the artifacts previously yeah okay okay i'm not gonna discuss that it's not the thing that we are missing to play better the game but we took it uh, when reaching capacity of gold, additional gold or chest inbox craft contents now be sent to your inbox. Okay, you don't miss your gold now if you are capped. Who is capped? I'm not sure. Can be checked directly at the uniform all uniforms. Okay. The concentration method will not display. Okay, how you're gonna display? Yeah. Occupation machine, main lobby, animation build. Okay. Uh, the fix they did, uh, it's kind of. I can't really see anything. Oh, only the fifth one, targeting for Surtur. Yeah, I had some tar issue with targeting Surtur in Alliance Battle Legend. He was moving out uh, with his charge skill, so perhaps they're meaning that. And it's gonna be cool. Yes, I feel really hyped for the World Boss Legend we're gonna get, but I'm gonna need like one or two days to complete that 100%, guys. And. The Conqueror level I was talking about before is this thing here. If you go come here, you can see I have Conqueror level 90 here. That means I'm having resists. Uh, that they gonna they gonna I feel like they gonna do this thing here, the resists and the buffs you are getting while you're uh, you can choose him right here. Um, no, um, where where is it? Yeah, here. If you come here, you can see from Conqueror level, you're getting some buffs, Valor, and the more raid level you had and the more Valor you had, you're getting more resists, where resists is something to get through the world boss legend easiest, and that's why I was grinding these things here. And now, as this seems, they're gonna give you additional buffs on them, and I hope they're not gonna reset them for me. 
I, because as you can see, I have already 100 all the world boss late ultimate except the ones that uh, are um, how it's called mutants of course i haven't done them because i wasn't playing them and you can see here uh all the world boss okay sorry but i can't play right now yeah i have uh, increased my conquer level so i'm gonna get some buffs when i'm gonna play world boss legend yeah let me know down below in the comments uh, if you want me to live stream or not, just drop videos, tell me your opinion openly. I'm not gonna say, oh, this guy said that. Ah, I'm not gonna talk to him again. Uh, no hard feelings, do whatever. Post, you know, drop your name, say whatever you want. There's no problem. I'm not getting uh, any harm feelings for anyone. And Alaska Light was the one that asked first for that. So if you don't want and I'm gonna do, blame him. Sorry about my magic. But yeah, don't forget, guys. Don't, for for God's sake, don't play this. Don't play this at all. You want to keep them to be able to do the quest for Jean Grey and play first the Jean Grey World Boss Legend. Skip World Boss Legend uh, and do them after the maintenance gonna happen. So yes, that was it. I'm gonna drop my opinion as soon as possible. I'm gonna have my hands on this update and see you. Kisses to everyone. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and comment your opinion. Sorry about my magic. I can't play. See you into the next. Kisses in your face.